Alright, uh, uh, right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the show, my last video here tonight. Uh, I'm here to talk about the Dodgers uh, Pirates game from tonight. A uh, good win for the Dodgers. Um, they've took the first two games this series. They look for a, a series sweep technically today at 4 o'clock before they head to Milwaukee in a big four game series and then St. Louis. So, some tough series coming up for these Dodgers. I'm really looking forward to these uh, series coming up. A lot of good teams they're uh, facing off against. But the Pirates here, uh, they've been falling off lately. Uh, now 56 and 60 record. Um, Dodgers scored four runs off Paul Skeens. It was Paul Skeens day. Uh, he went six innings, six hits, four earned runs, one walk, eight strikeouts. Probably his worst start. Um, of, of his career so far, but kind of got unlucky beat, you know, to Oscar at the ball. Kind of weak a few times to get on base. Gavin Lux drove um, the first three runs in. So he uh, started off two for two with three RBIs. And then T. Oscar got a, uh, his, uh, I believe, his 25th home run of the season tonight. So T. Oscar Nandez was good. Uh, he ended up going three for four with one RBI and three runs scored. Uh, him and Gavin Lux were pretty much the offense tonight, it felt like. Uh, they scored one in, one run in the first, two in the third, and then one in the fifth. That was pretty much all the offense. They had the bases loaded against, against Ben Haller or something and left them loaded. With no outs, typical Dodgers. Well, luckily, the offense was good tonight. Um, unfortunately, River Ryan, River Ryan, he's pitching well. And then we get the second out in the inning. He gets hurt. Left forearm tightness or something like that. He ended up going 4.2 innings, four hits, no one runs, no loss. He struck out four. So great outing from River Ryan, but you kind of you're kind of worrying about this the, the, these injuries with the pitching staff. It, it, is it a training staff problem? I mean, I know you can't just go and blame injuries, but no team gets their pitchers hurt more often than we do. Like, again, is it, again, we're going we're gonna to have this shit, man, with the injuries? River Ryan's going to get more eye tomorrow, so we just hope and pray he doesn't have to get Jimmy John surgery. I, I mean, Tommy John surgery. So, he'll obviously go on the IL, Landon Mack. Me! We'll come up and pitch in the bullpen. Um, River Ryan talked about his injury to the media. He started feeling the tightness in his form. He mentioned the pitch clock as reason why, his, as, uh, why these injuries like this can occur and keep occurring. Pitch, pitcher injuries have been an issue before the pitch clock. It's it's not a pitch clock issue. Like I just think it's just pitchers have always been gone injured like this. I don't think it's a pitch clock issue. Why does it always happen to us? Fuck if I know. But yeah, um, I guess we'll see what happens tomorrow with severity of that injury. But just tough. He started feeling the tightness in the third inning. Uh, he used the Theragun and the dugout, but felt pain again on the last two pitches and he come back. But yeah, Landon Landon Nags gonna come back. But River Ryan was great tonight. It just sucks he got injured. He he was pitching well. He made a nice play. Um in the first inning, um, nice throw he made. So glad we made that trade for Matt Beatty to get him. Uh, but yeah, the bullpen um, clutched up as well. I thought the bullpen was pretty good. We'll get back to Paul Skeens in a moment. Uh, Alex Vesia went 1.0 1, 1 innings pitch, 2 hits, 9 runs, 1 walk, no strikeouts. Bringing Evan Fields to get the final out. 0.1 innings pitch, no hits, 9 runs, no walks. He struck out 1. So he struck at the battery faced. Michael Grove come back, uh, come in the game, 0.2 innings pitch, 2 hits, 9 runs, no walks. He struck out 1. Gave up 2 singles, but was able to get out of the inning. Michael Kopech, dude, he's been absolutely fantastic since joining the Dodgers. He has not gave up a single earned run yet out of the bullpen. Knock on wood. 1.1 uh, innings pitch, no hits, no earned runs, no walks, and he struck out two. So Michael Kopech has been great. And this really goes back to the White Sox. He had a good last few outings, and the Dodgers have really helped Michael Kopech. Daniel Hudson went one inning, one hit, one earned run, no walks, one strikeout. He gave up the homer to keep Brian Hayes, ruined the shutout. But yeah, three hits from uh, T. Oscar tonight, the homer, three RBIs from Lux. They, those two really did all the damage against Paul Skeens, because other than that, nobody else really did shit uh, against them. Besides, uh, well, Nick Ahmed was two for three, but I think he had one hit off um, 
skeins and the other one was off Hayward. So let's go over the Dodgers offense. Otani, Shahani Otani 0 for 3 and a walk. T. Oscar 3 for 4 in RBI. Freeman 0 for 4. Lux 2 for 4, 3 RBIs. Hayward 0 for 4. KK 0 for 3 and a walk. Austin Barnes 0 for 4. Kiermaier 1 for 3. Made a nice catch in center field. That's why that's why they got him, Dodger fans. He got his first hit, too. And Nick Ahmed had a good game. 2 for 3 and a run scored. Good offense from Nick Ahmed. Uh, the offense had 8 total hits for 4 runs, 1 air. Uh, we went over their scoring. For the Pirates, 9 hits for 1 run, no airs. They had a few chances, but they just couldn't come, come through. They scored their only run in the ninth inning. So Dodgers get to 68-49, and 49, another big win. Hopefully they can sweep this series more. Every win matters, ladies and gentlemen, because they got Milwaukee Monday through Thursday, I think. Yeah, four-game series, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It's going to be a big series. I'm really excited for that Brewers-Dodgers series. That's going to be that's gonna be cinema. That's going to be a great series. Uh, but the, for the Pirates, shot to 56-60. and 60. We'll get to Paul Skeens now. Six hitting, six hits, four and runs, one walk, struck out eight. Um, yeah, just some unlucky hits from T. Oscar Hernandez that allowed Gavin Lux to drive in um, through the first three runs. Fourth run, just a bad pitch to Oscar crushed. But yeah, um, lost, Paul Skeens is giving up four runs and getting the loss for them. He gave up four tonight, so you still you still gotta give credit to Gavin Lux, the Oscar Hernandez driving in runs. So it's probably the worst game of his, I guess, worst start of his career, I guess. But but that's that's the uh, for the first time in his career he's allowed four runs. And it's a shame that he, it's a shame for Paul Skeens. But yeah, they're probably not gonna see uh, the playoffs this year. And they're now nine and six when Paul Skeens pitches. Thought, yeah, he didn't. He what? I thought he was pretty good out, outside those the Lux RBIs and then Teoscar won. It's just the offense never really showed up. The longest losing streak of the season capped off by Skeens getting four runs for the first time in his young career. They need something to spark some life back into this team, but honestly, I don't know if they can at this point. Uh, ben Heller went two innings, two hits, nine runs, one walk, struck out four. Uh, let's go over their lineup. Kinder for left, two for four. Reynolds, two for four. Cruz, 0 for three and a walk. Bart, one for four. Chalaz and De La Cruz, 0 for four. De La Cruz has been a freaking, ter been freaking terrible. Hayes, one for four and an RBI. Solo home run. Randall, one for four. And Michael A. Taylor, two for four. Yeah, four, good four, one, four to one win for the Dodgers. They took the first team. It's really good since, you know, the Pirates, they've historically... I should, well, I guess the past few years they've really owned us. They freaking whooped us. So good to see. Good to see uh, we've won the first two here, dominantly. To be honest, nine to five, then four to one. Playing like one of the best teams as we should be. I know we're, we've had some injuries, but there's no excuses now. I mean, Mookie Betts is coming back soon. He's coming back on Monday, actually. Um, Edmund and Max Muncy had their rehab assignments. They look pretty good. You know, at a Triple A OKC tonight. When we get all those guys back in the lineup. No excuses now. When we get Yamamoto back in the starting rotation, hopefully Bueller's can rejuvenate the season for him. Once we get everybody back, there's no excuses. It's it's either you're about shit or you're full of shit. So, yeah. Uh, but a good 4-1 win. That's really all I say. Until next time, Elk Light. Peace. And I'll see you guys for the series finale of this and hopefully a three-game sweep for our Dodgers. So leave a like, comment, subscribe for more. Until next time, Elk. Peace.